You are ready to make a career switch and you keep sending out your resume for these new positions and you have the skills, you understand the industry, and yet you're still hearing crickets. Well, your resume probably is to blame, but no fear, we can fix it. Let's talk about the five resume mistakes career changers make so you can fix them and land the job. Now, if we haven't met, my name is Cassandra, and if you are in the middle of a career transition, I am here to help. I made my own transition in my career uh, about six, mm, I guess the journey started seven years ago, grad school was involved, but I want to help you do the same. Life is too short to be stuck in a job you don't like, so let's get you somewhere you like. Now, to get that job, we need a good resume. So, here's where we start. In no particular order, these are the five mistakes. Number one, using jargon or verbiage that doesn't translate to the new industry, or you didn't translate it to the new industry. So for example, I worked in higher education and in student affairs, higher ed, anytime you put on an event, we called that programming. Okay. In other industries, programming is a very different thing. And if I wanted to go into event planning or something where planning events was involved, I need to change every place where I put programmed events to planned events. Now on the flip side, if you've planned events for work and now you want to work in higher education, you didn't plan them, you programmed them. These little nuances can really be the difference between your resume beating the ATS or not, or just being transferable and understandable to the hiring manager. So make sure you're using the language of the industry you're trying to go into. Number two, not highlighting the skills, the hard skills of the role in your skills section. You wanna make sure you are highlighting any skills of this industry everywhere possible. So especially hard skills. If you took the time to learn a certain software, to learn a certain program or language, you want to make sure it is listed in the skills section and where you've gotten a certificate and in a bullet point in your experience, if possible, you want to show that skill as many times as you can. So make sure you're really listing all of those. Sometimes people go, well, isn't it obvious that I know this skill if I'm going in this industry? Uh, yes, but you need to let them know that you know that they know that you know. So just make sure you put all skills down. Number three, the huge mistake I see made for career transitions and just on resumes in general, not quantifying. Oh, y'all, you've got to quantify. Use numbers on your resume. Numbers paint a picture. When you say trained new employees, okay, that's nice. When you say onboarded 20 new employees every month for 12 months, uh, I've got a much stronger picture of what you did. So anywhere where you can add a number, be that a percentage, a volume of some sort, like sales or funds raised, any sort of monetary number, if it's social media, impressions, followers, subscribers, just anything where you can add a number, quantify. It paints a much stronger picture of what you do. And in the middle of all those letters, we see a number and our eye, our eye is drawn to it because it breaks up the pattern. And we go, what's that number? Now we read your bullet point. So make sure you are quantifying. Number four, and this one actually is the most important. I said they weren't in an order and clearly they're not because number four actually is most important. Not having a summary of qualifications. Woo! If you're a career changer, we got to start with a summary of qualifications. This is where you are going to hit me with three to five bullet points of the things that make you a great fit for the position. Think of this as your highlights, as your headline to make me want to read further. If I read nothing else though, what are the things I need to know that make you a good fit? bullet point those for me in a summary of qualifications before I see your experience, your education, your skills. I need that that summary. I still recommend doing that in bullet points, not a paragraph, but just the key is three to five main skills. Boom. Here's what I can do for you. Here's why I'm a good fit in bullet point form under that summary. You got to have it if you are changing careers. Okay, and the number five mistake that career changers make on their resume, including everything you've done ever. 
all right? Your resume should not go back 20, 25 years. It should be about the last 10 to 15 years. Now, if there's something you did 15, 20 years ago at the beginning of your career that we're coming back around to and you want them to know like, hey, I had some experience in it, you can maybe put it as a very small bullet point at the end of your experience, right? Just one or two bullet points just to say, hey, I worked in this before. I would address that more in the cover letter. You can watch my video on cover letters for career changers in the card. I'll put in the card up here. I don't know, somewhere up there. And I'll put it in the description box below. So you can address it more there of why we're coming back around. But don't think that you have to let me know absolutely everything you've done or to give me your whole career history when it doesn't have anything to do with this new career. Really focus on the last 10 years. What have you been doing and focus on what's most transferable. So sometimes that's not just work experience, that's volunteer experience, that's education that we've been taking, certifications we've been getting. Make sure they're seeing the full picture of how you can translate those skills that you've done, that experience you've had to the new job more than, hey, look, I've worked for 20 plus years. Okay, you don't need to put everything you've done ever. Now, as I mentioned before, if you are looking to change careers, I have a couple of different videos for you. If you wanna get the, the cover letter video to complement this resume one, go here. If you need some career change motivation, like you're ready to change careers, but you're a little scared about it, go check out this video here. That is it for today. If this video was helpful, be sure to subscribe and hit the little thumbs up so that the algorithm knows you liked it. Also, y'all, I'm real close to 100,000. I'd like to get there soon, and it would really help me out if you'd hit that subscribe. And that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.